Sadly, the American dream is dead. But if I get elected president, I will bring it back bigger and better and stronger than ever before, and we will make America great again. Thank you. Thank you very much. When a president retires after two terms, that president sets the stage for the next. Good morning in the sense that the country never looks, no matter how popular the president is, for the replica of what they have. They generally look for the remedy. By that measure, there's no one who's a greater antithesis to Barack Obama than Donald Trump. Build that wall. Build that wall. What do you think of Donald Trump? Well, uh, I think that uh, he is a great publicity seeker. Build that wall. You think he's running out of steam? I mean, you think he's going to disappear? I, you know, I, I'll leave it up to the pundits uh, to make that determination. I don't think he'll end up being president of the United States. Donald Trump caught into a backlash fervor of the fears, unfounded fears, of many people. And striking on simplistic things like they're not one of us, we need to go back to old America, make America great. And no one thought that that could work. When they started saying by the year 20-something, there'd be more people of color, I kind of knew there would be a backlash, but I didn't know where it was going to come from. Trump, he spoke that language. He, he spoke directly to the races. He spoke directly to the bigots. He knew exactly what they were feeling because he was feeling it. He, he, he knows exactly how he felt seeing that black man every day. I think in general, we deeply underestimate the power of, of hate, you know, of a, a particular kind of uh, politics that, you know, takes as its base, I'm not you, you live over there, I live over here. I'm with my people, you're with yours. Now, there were a lot of things that had to happen, you know, in order for Trump to be president. But I think, like, he just missed the extent to which what Trump was saying was, in fact, in deep concert with folks that he had been facing for the past eight years. I, I do think that the country is inexorably changing. I believe in all kinds of positive ways. Uh, but I do think that when you combine that demographic change with all the economic stresses that people have been going through, it means that there is going to be potential anger, frustration, fear. Some of it justified, but just misdirected. And I think somebody like Mr. Trump's taken advantage of that. But there are some people that are just stone-cold racists. We know that. But there are a lot of people also who feel and are, to some degree or another, feel like they're, they are on the losing end of the stick. There are a lot of people who rose to the bait, I would say, the encouragement of the kind of PR mastery of Trump Trump made it into an us and them, and black and white. There was no question that he had a self-consciousness of a path to whipping up resentment. And Obama was a black president. 